an introduction to social media and wikis demystified. So, what is social media? Well, in the past, the ways in which all of us could interact with one another, share things and build communities was somewhat limited. There was a need to do all these things, but not necessarily the tools to do it efficiently. Along came the internet and changed all this by offering free tools like blogs, podcasts and social networking spaces. This enabled information sharing between more people, irrespective of location or time. Like-minded people could be connected and new communities created or strengthened. Social media now enables new ways to provide real trusted feedback through comments, ratings and tagging. Whether you're a big organisation such as a school or an individual with something to share, there's probably an avenue for you. You'll probably be familiar with one of these. But are you familiar with wikis? There are many ways in which wikis can be used, Wikipedia being a popular one. And here's our guide to wikis, demystified. Wikis are essentially a central resource for people to share, collaborate and edit information. So, in the past, if you wanted to organise an event, the process may have involved having a number of face-to-face -face meetings, group emails and telephone calls. This could take up lots of time and be difficult to organise. Some events may be missed by key people and emails may become difficult to keep track of. These are not the best tools for collaboration, but there is a better solution. With a wiki, collaboration becomes easier. Most wikis work in the same way, and that's through a cycle of edit, write, then save. A user can visit a wiki website, click edit, and the page can be customised. The content can be changed and then saved, where it becomes a live web page, ready for someone else to view or edit. This is much more collaborative and can help communities share information when convenient and wherever you may be. For example, you could set up a wiki in order to organise an open day. Members could sign up to your open day wiki where they'd see your wiki website for the first time. One member may have something useful to add to the page, so clicks edit, writes the information and then saves it. Another member also has something to add to the page, so goes through the same process of edit, write, save. Another user of the wiki notices that the topic seems important enough to have its own page, so its title is highlighted, made a link and saved. When this link is clicked by other users, it takes you to a new page on the wiki, ready for more information to be added. The website now benefits from the knowledge of the group and the new information can be shared by all. This simple process made it possible to create the world's biggest encyclopedia, but it can easily be used to share information between smaller communities. An introduction to social media and wikis demystified, brought to you by Bechter.